Listen, man, I think one more that I can add is learn to make healthy snacks because snacking, we know it. We always wish for those, those kind of carb-filled and sugary-filled snacks throughout the course of the day. But by learning to make something from scratch at home, which is really easy, I mean, it could be one of your New Year's resolutions. So we have chef and food blogger Zora back with us this morning. She made the most delicious pumpkin protein pancakes early yes, on. And I yes. had everything. I Finished ate, or, it. That was your I, breakfast. I probably had five too many. <laughs> it was that good. But they're healthy, so it's okay. Exactly. They were good. Yeah. But now, something for the snackers. Something for there. snackers. Yes, hey. It's actually really good for children as well. For lunchbox treats, yes. work treats, everything. So it's a homemade, no-bake granola bar. Granola bars. bar, yes. yes. So we're going to be starting off with our dry ingredients and then we're going to melt our wet and then just basically put it <coughs> in the fridge for about half an hour. So the fridge, you don't That's make it. it, it sets nicely. That's it, I yes. I love it. So take us through, what do so we So we're going to put some rolled oats, gluten-free, okay. and then we're going to add some flaked almonds. Okay. And some sesame seeds and dried cranberries. Yes. So you can, of course, All if you're of not things. a fan of the fruitiness in there, like your cranberries yeah. and raisins, you can leave it out. Right? You can leave them out, yes, yeah. you can. Just adds like a nice texture yes, when you yes, bite yes. into it. And then lastly, our pumpkin seeds. That's so it. could you just mix that yeah, first? Yeah, absolutely. And then I'm going to add all our wet and let that melt down. So we've got almond butter, honey, and a bit of coconut oil. All right. So we're just going to put all okay, of I that know the in. almond butter, such a beautiful flavor. It is, as well. eh? It's so rich and it's so healthy. It's going to be delicious. Now, if you want to get your hands on the recipe, very easy. The keyword is snack. SMS that to 33728. That's snack to 33728. So everything goes in. You oh, kind of just heat it through a little bit. That's literally what you do. And then you combine it nicely and just line your dish with parchment paper like we just did. Okay. Are we going to combine everything into the big bowl? Into I think. the big bowl, yes. That might be a so good idea. Can I throw it in there? Throw it in. This is already done. And look how beautiful that looks. Your nice little and now mixture. Now you're going to mix this Let's clean this up for here. me. And there we go. Just like that. That is actually it. And the best thing is you don't have to bake anything. That's so the thing. So it just sits in the fridge for a few minutes and then you're done. Okay. So Perfect. I usually take about a half an hour. So it's all set through, press it in nicely, and yeah. then you can chop it up. And it keeps for about like two to three weeks. So you've got it for quite a while. Don't mind, don't last that long. It lasts for like three <laughs> days and then it's done exactly. completely. But it's a great one to, to pack it for recipe. that mid-morning yes, snack. Yes, exactly. So this just goes into here. Goes in here. Let's get that nicely in there. See, it's so simple and it doesn't really take long. So that when people super, are like, it's hard quick. to be healthy, I'm like, you can. It's not that difficult. So you kind of just now recipe. start... And you just press it in. Pressing it down. Depending on the thickness. It yeah. um, just depends on your tin. Yeah, exactly. But other than that, you see, that's it. And you and you leave that in the fridge. And I just leave it in the fridge. Um, just like that. And then we're finished. All right. Is well, the keyword is snack. Is that to three three seven two eight? This really was such an easy recipe. Um, let me taste one of these guys over here. And you, you can, can see, see the textures coming through of everything. And you've got some chia seeds, which is our protein. So hey. ready to I go. I love the the crispiness of the of the, oh, um, the, the puffed rice. Yeah. That's great. Beautiful. Thank you very much. All right, great, thank like you. Thank you. Snack is that to three three seven two eight. If you want to get your hand on this recipe, it will be on our website as well, expressoshow.com.